Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pixel Therapy channel, the home of great gaming and even greater vibes. I just want to say Merry Christmas to all of you guys. I hope you're having an awesome holiday season and Happy New Year as well, depending on when this video is uploaded. Um, basically, this is an unboxing video to talk about the PT Actuator Motion System that I ordered a while ago and it finally arrived on the 29th of December. Um, essentially, before I get into the actual unboxing video, I think I thought maybe it would be remiss of me if I just briefly didn't talk about some of the products that are on offer with PT Actuator and what led me to pick this particular product and um, my reasoning behind it. So without dragging on too much, what I'm going to go do is just jump onto the display capture over here and then you guys will be able to actually see what it is that I picked. So PT Actuator is a company out in China and basically they specialize in doing actuators, not only for sim racing, but for other industrial applications as well. What we generally tend to focus on here as sim racers is their Scorpion series actuators. So this is sort of like their, if you were to order something that looked more like a D box or a pro simu actuator, which is just your four actuators, your three or four actuators without the frame, this is what you'd be looking at as a consumer. So the Scorpion series basically comes in four flavors. You have your experience uh, Scorpion series, which is your entry level uh, actuator system. And then you have your super, which is your probably your premium uh, level actuator system for a consumer. You have your commercial actuator system, and then you have the ultimate actuator system, which is actually a 6DOF hexagon type shape um, uh, motion system. So essentially, as a consumer, where you'd really be looking at, you'd either be looking as, at your experience model or at your Super Scorpion model. So if we were to just jump onto the next tab here, with your experience model, with all of these actuator systems, you get mountain brackets, and this is what the actuator actually looks like. Say that six times, what the actuator actually looks like. And essentially, it comes with two variants under each category. So the experience model, which is your entry level consumer model, will either come with a three actuator system, which is plenty enough for you to have an 80-20 rig or any other form of rig that you are able to bolt the actuator to, and it can um, give you a great motion experience. So I guess maybe if you think about the entry level Visaro rigs that have three actuators instead of four. Now these are three DOF systems and you obtain that three DOF with either three actuators or four actuators. So if you look at the price, uh, the price for the entry level three actuator system is about 3,500 US dollars, right? And these are really good actuators. So in other words, they have a speed of about 250 uh, millimeters per second. Each actuator can hold a force or can hold about 200 kilograms, which is roughly about um, just under 100 pounds per actuator. So you can sort of do the math with, when you uh, uh, multiply it by three or four actuators. The length of each actuator in the experience is 100 millimeters or 3.9 inches, so almost four inches between them. So the three actuator variant is 3,500 US dollars and the four actuator variant is $4,500. When you purchase this, you also get uh, the four actuator variant. You also get a license to either Race Sim Studio, uh, which is usually good for beginners or pro users because of, the, because of its friendly UI, or you can get uh, Sim Tools version two, which is usually for the more experienced people in terms of um, use. Now, the difference between Race Sim Studio and sim tools it's not so much that there is a difference in terms of the quality these are two very powerful tools it's just that race uh sim race studio rather is a newer software it's developed by the guys who do uh dof reality and it's more user friendly but at the moment, it is equally, if not in some ways, starting to surpass sim tools from the beta testing and the people who've tried both. If you go for the... Now, 
with the PT actuator system, you do get uh, four or three servo motors, depending on your actuators that you've got. And with this experience variant, you do not get your pre-metal housing and your servo driver and your controllers are not pre-wired for you. So in other words, you get all the components, but you do have to do the electrical wiring yourself. And there are many YouTube guides. I think Sim Racing Garage did a YouTube guide um, that shows you how to do this electrical wiring. It's not that difficult, but it is something that PT Actuator have done to help keep the costs down, so to say. So you get all the bits and you get all the wiring, you get all the servos. You just have to put them together yourself. So essentially what I did was I went for the super variant, right? And the super variant much like the experience is more the upscale version of the consumer flavor of the PT actuators. Again, this comes in either three actuators or four actuators. Now you'll notice that the speed of the actuators has increased from 200 millimeters per second to about 250. Each actuator, because they use the same actuators can hold the same amount of force. So that's 200 kilograms. However, the stroke has increased from about 100 millimeters or 3.9 inches to 150 millimeters, which is about 6 inches in terms of the length of the stroke. Both of these variants, because of the additional price, you get a, all the wiring is done for you and it comes in a metal housing. So you don't have to go and buy your own separate metal casing to put your server drivers in. And this is uh, for the three actuator variant. You're looking at about 4,000. 4,900 US dollars and you're looking at 6,000 US dollars for the four actuator variant. Now this is very competitive price wise to some of the other motion systems out there, whether you're looking at pro semu, whether you're looking at D box for you to get a four actuator motion system that is pre wired with a metal housing. It includes the software to use it and it's got actuators that have got this speed, this length, and can hold this much force for only $6,000. That is a really good comparative price. So basically that's why I went with, uh, with PT actuator. That's why I picked them over D box pro CMU and all the other variants out there. But without talking too much, I'm sure a lot of you guys actually want to get to the unboxing. So I won't hold things up. We'll get straight to a clip of the unboxing and I'll do a voiceover and just sort of talk to, through the components as we show them and what comes out. So I will see you in the next part of the video. Thank you. Hello everybody. Now I know I promised to do a voiceover, but when I was editing, I thought it would be just a little better if I let the video play and I actually put on graphics instead to say what the bits were about. It's quite evident and clear what the components are and I didn't think that a voiceover was actually necessary. So just watch the unboxing and enjoy the rest of the video. Please like, subscribe and thank you. Cheers.